How you all doing, ladies and gentlemen? So, this is my Coalition War arc discussion slash review, um, but this will only be part one of it, and there's a, special, there's a specific reason why this is part one, because I want to actually talk about it in more depth than just this. Um, and there's, a, cause there's so much that happens during the arc that like, I want to actually go through, not just from like a character's perspective, but also a, uh, a ba you know, battle, more so like, battle plus strategy perspective and obviously if there are certain aspects to the war um such, such as you know people overcoming struggles um and whatnot uh, i want to go through that in more depth and that's why this will be a multiple part series so this part specifically will focus on obviously how it well basically at the beginning of the arc um and obviously when we when you talk about the beginning of the arc especially of this arc first of all let me actually know you know let me talk about the beginning of the arc and then let me give my overall rating of the arc. Um, I think the rating will be pretty clear for a lot of you that it's a top tier arc. That, that, that's the rating. There is no actual number. Uh, number. It's a top tier arc and that's because so much happened. Um, you know, typical in, in typical Kingdom fashion, of course, there is a lot of... Let me just move the camera back a tiny little bit. But in typical Kingdom fashion, there is, of course, a lot that happened. There is a lot of multiple tiny little aspects that happen during massive scale conflicts, which is actually what makes it so great, which makes this conflict so great. That even in like these, you know, multiple thousand, uh, you know, story, multiple thousand people, uh, story arcs, multiple thousand story, you know, people, uh, war arcs, they still focus on the individual uh, characters and how these individual uh how these individual characters can progress a story, can progress the plot, can progress what's happening on the battlefield, and how a tiny ant can jump into a massive, massive storm and still cause the storm to stop in a way. So, uh, typical Kingdom fashion, but this, uh, so it felt like the intensity just went up and up and up. It just went up and up and up, and quite frankly, um, it was just very well executed from beginning to end. But you know what? When you talk about beginning and end, let's start at the beginning. So the beginning of the arc, probably the funniest part of Kingdom as of right now is the one guy coming in like, My Lord, we've got bad news. They're all attacking us. Well, my, my, my Lord, she is attacking us. My lord, Zhao is attacking us. My lord, everybody's attacking us. Uh, every time this guy came in during that one chapter, when, when, when you just see the characters' faces go from like, oh yeah, yeah, we, we can have real food being like, oh yeah, we can handle one nation attacking us. Oh yeah, we can handle two. Wait, what? <laughs> You've just seen that realization kick in where he's like, oh no, what? Oh, oh, yeah, what? How did we get into this mess? How did we get into this mess? Why have they formed a coalition to go against us? We need to so we need to summon our generals right now and then start the preparations for this war. And just that chapter alone was for me the highlight of the early part. Of course, when all the generals are summoned to, and then you know they all are given the individual task. You see Toe, uh, you know, step in as well right at the beginning and then you see how it all, con you know, we see all the generals, we see all the relevant people of um, the, the, the the country that we follow where our main character is to, Shin. Um, you see them all come together. You see them all realize, you know what, this is all or nothing. If we fail, our hometown will be gone. And obviously that's usually a premise with war. But considering that, like, as of right now, majority of wars have been... Uh, rather small scale affairs and what i mean by that is just like affairs settled on like a specific region or um you know a specific city um for example regaining your city regaining your hometown you know coming back on the throne all uh, most like rather small scale affairs and suddenly you realize well we're in this massive scale affair everyone teamed up to go against us we need to find out. We need to find out how to get, how we can defend our hometown. We need to get together, get rid of all that tension that you know that we might have had that internal struggle that might have been there. We need to we need to put that to the side as of right now and then focus on what's in front of us, which is the coalition army. And you know what? It's all happening at Kankoku Pass. We need to prepare. We need to prepare. We need to prepare. And you know what? Each general needs to do their job. If one falters, we all fail. And quite frankly, just seeing that realization from like, yeah, news. I've got the news. I'm bringing you the news. Here's the news. You know, we're basically all effed 
to, you know what, we're not all left. Let, let, let's put up a stand, let's fight back, and let's show these bastards what we can do. And that's basically what happened at the early parts of this arc. They, they were like, yeah, you know what? We're gonna show these bastards what we can do. You know what? If you have talent, if you are talented, you know, even if you're not talented, even if you're just a random commoner, you will have to fight for your hometown. Because quite frankly, if we lose this, if we don't win this, it is all over. And that's what happened. Of course, we saw the Heishin unit um, later on, especially during the war. You know, they put out a lot of excellent efforts. But it wasn't just about them. Like, what, like usually the arcs, they focus on shit. It wasn't just about him. You know, we saw the Gakuga Ho unit as well. We saw every single unit, like To, at towards the beginning of the arc. Of course, um, you know, Mowu, Moten, uh, Mogo. You know, everyone was there. Osen, Ohan. Obviously, obviously not Oki, but we saw Oki's men. We saw To, as I already mentioned. There were just a bunch of people, you know, Shoto. There was just a lot of people that were just there that just proved that, you know, what this is this is it. Du Kiao, of course, you know, and, and it just gave you that sense of this should be the final arc. Like, like this, should, this shouldn't be 300 chapters in or whatnot, you know. I, I think the, the manga currently is at like 600, so you could almost say there's like the halfway point to being caught up. But this is almost like the arc that you would expect at the end of the show, not right now, you know. And later on, obviously, your Tanwa too. Um, and obviously, the Bushin. <laughs> but yeah, um, it, it felt like everyone was there except for Kyukai. But everyone else was there. Everyone else played a pivotal role. Everyone else had to win the individual ba battles. You know, Mangoku as well. You know, there was just so much good stuff that was happening. And there was just so much um, tension. You know, because you were like, yeah, they nearly made it. You know, they nearly breached the, the wall. Well, Ohan. Sorry, not Ohan. Osen. You know, it, it, they nearly uh, took over. Um, I don't know. They, they nearly took over... The left forces, well, it's all a trap. They nearly, well, or their, their rights are left, I guess. But, you know, they nearly took that over. They, you know, climbing up the wall and whatnot. Well, that's all a trap. You know, then you have the individual battle of who is the strongest. All of that started with just them realizing, you know what, we need to fight for our home. And quite frankly, they did it brilliantly. They, 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 they realized the situation immediately and there was no like, yes, of course, there was fear. Yes, of course, people were worried that they might die, they might lose their lives, but they came together, the generals came together, they knew their job, they knew their task, even Ryufu was like trying to take all, everything over, you know, even he was like, you know what, there's not a time for it. Later on, when, when it was all lost, you know, perhaps then, but, you know, Shohei-kun, um, yeah, like, like there was just, I felt, it felt like everyone realized that this is a dire situation and seeing these characters where, you know, throughout the whole show, they have been squabbling with each other, come to realize that, you know what, there is a bigger threat right now and that threat needs to be exterminated and after that we can then continue with our squabbles if we have to, uh, but as of right now, we need to focus on the bigger threat and that's exactly what happened during this episode, not episode, during this first um, part of the arc now as i said this we'll leave it at there for this video um this is part one of the discussion slash review um of this arc later on i i think we're gonna go for like the individual battles um in terms of like the individual battlefields the individual armies i think that's how we're gonna do it and um, that would be a great way to dis to distinguish these parts i guess not to make them too long not to make them too short you know just going through it in depth you know uh, and next time i can write some notes down for the individual battles and what i liked or i didn't like what i thought could have been better what i could what i thought was handled brilliantly the good points the negative points so on and so forth as a whole obviously the arc is a top top arc i'm definitely in my top 10 favorite arcs of everything uh, i think i've said this before i wouldn't know where it lands because i don't actually know what my top 10 is um, if I had to think, this if I had made this video like three weeks ago, it would have probably been easier to make. But if I had to actually think of like what my favorite arcs of anything are, in no particular order, I would say um, Water Seven Enies Lobby. I count them as one arc. Um, obviously, the Coalition, uh, the Coalition War arc, um, Clash of Red and Black. I, I always love that arc, Clash of Red and Black. I know it's not the greatest arc of that particular show that I'm talking about, but it's, it's still a top tier arc. Uh, 
then we've got SA FS Sabaudi I'm trying to think, right? It's very difficult to think on, on, on the spot. Then I guess you could say that the final arc, it's not, it's not really an arc arc, but like the final stretch of Ashita no Joe 2. Um, I would say the final stretch of Ping Pong 2. Not, not 2, but like the, uh, the final stretch of Ping Pong, like the last 3 4 episodes. I want to say Monogatari. I, I I know technically they're they're broken up into arcs, but Monogatari second season as a whole. That would be nine, and then as number ten, uh, as number ten, I would have. What would be my number ten? I'm not sure. I I don't know. Maybe L O T J H season three. I think yeah, I would yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's not really an arc, it's more like a season, but same thing. <laughs> same thing. I, that, that's basically my top 10, give or take. Of course, I might have forgotten a few things. It's just me coming up on the spot, you know, without having actually really thought about what my top 10 could be. These are no particular orders, of course, but like that's just my general overview of the arcs that I really, really enjoy. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Uh, the coalition arc is in those top 10. Now that's just my thoughts, though, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know, for, I'd be interested as well. Let me know of your top 10 favorite arcs and let me know of your top 10 favorite moments of this particular arcs and your particular things that you might want me to talk about in the future in these uh, discussion slash review because if there's a specific thing that you might want to that you might want me to talk about specifically maybe say the tactical aspects of battle i know i'm not a tactical strategian but if you do want me to talk about that i can certainly talk about that otherwise i'll probably focus mainly on the characters and their individual clashes and why that was meaningful um but if you want me to talk about a specific aspect let me know and i'll see you all in the next one everyone so until then peace out have a nice day and bye